Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 18 of the Aqua Top of White Snow. So, <laughs> white Snow, White Snow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Adorable. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But I think she can do it. I mean, yeah, it's a very interesting idea. Yeah, but you have really interesting ideas, so... No, I don't 
think you were being too pushy, but... I thought so too. Oh, hon. Of course. Is that something you want to do? <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> okay.
Oh, I honestly thought she was about to say, yeah, I quit school. In a way, you kind of, she kind of just wants a job. She doesn't have, like, a dream like everyone else. She just wants something to get her by so that she has money. I wonder who going cosplay as the jellyfish. to you. True. But I can't even be fun. Like, I get the fact that she's not in it as much as everyone else is. Because, you know, I mean, it just depends on the person. But you would think she would just be like, yeah, let me try. But...
says. Well, I mean, in a way, they're still having fun, but there are still complications on no matter what you're going to do. It's beautiful. Seriously? Do you even have stamps? You're going to literally spend the entire rest of the day getting handmade stickers done. Power to you, babe. She came back, didn't she? Yeah, and it just makes sense for her to stay anyway, you know? The one time you wish you had like that little, I've, I've seen it on Amazon. It's one of those small like sticker makers that you can make like anything a sticker and then you just, mm, boom, done. baby <laughs> but still kids don't like sharks
left but the maiden. <laughs> oh, they look so pretty! Yeah! Uh-huh! Yeah! I know, you look so cute in this pink costume. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, he's upset. What's wrong? <laughs> this is so, oh my god, this episode is so fucking good! Oh my god, but everybody, everyone looked so fucking good in their costumes. Like, oh, I just... Warned my heart. Oh my god. The chief son is a penguin. Oh, you just want to take him and cuddle the shit out of him. Like, oh my god. I, I want a penguin plushie so fucking bad. I mean, yeah, you see behind me, I freaking got Kudadun from Tropical Rouge pretty here. And guys, I love the shit out of Kudadun, Kudadun and seals in general. But like penguins. Penguins! Penguins and pandas. Oh my god. I can't. And I, I've never seen... I haven't seen a panda, uh, a panda yet, um, because I remember when I was like a little little kid, we went to the zoo, and unfortunately the day I went, there were no pandas, and I was so upset, and I was like, I want to see a panda, but if I do see one, I'll probably like fangirl and like probably cry, because pandas are so fucking cute, but I do the same thing for penguins, and plus when I was living in Nebraska at the time, um, well no, did we go to what? Did I go to an aquarium? No. I didn't go to an aquarium in Nebraska. I went to an aquarium when I was still in high school as like a trip because we went to New Orleans. But I didn't get to see any penguins there. I got to see all these other fish and everything, which was cool. And just to be there and to be around in that atmosphere and everything and to see that, it's beautiful. Oh. You know what? Miss Cookity, you've been wanting to say, you've been saying some ish, you've been venting for like ever since the second half of this show has started. And you are now finally getting, in a way, what you wanted. So, I mean, I'm not going to say karma is a bitch because it's not like that. It's more of like when you do vent over something that you really, really want. And you strive for it and once, you know, your supervisor or your boss, whoever sees how, like, your potential, how you were at the beginning versus now, then, yeah, you're going to get what you want. And in a way, you got what you want. I, I mean, I don't know how this is going to go for her next week, but of course, we got to wait until next Thursday. But yes, literally having everyone dress up either as animals, sea creatures, pirates, <laughs> Or even do a play from a story it was very cute. Seeing everybody just dress up for a day and, you know, bring smiles to the children and a little bit of scares and crying from tears of kids because you know a shark. Because, of course, a little kid is going to be so freaking afraid of a shark. Some kids will and some kids won't. It's the same thing if somebody, like, dressed as a snake or... um Something scary. There's going to be some kids who are going to be like, oh, that's so cool, like me. And then there are going to be ones who are going to be, like, terrified of it. Because, like, okay, like, okay, 
I don't like alligators. I don't like alligators. I don't like snakes, anything. And when I went to New Orleans during my senior year, um, there was a pet alligator. And it had a little rubber band on it so it wouldn't get loose. And so we're all, like, um, handing it around so people could touch it. And one of my friends was sitting beside me, and she was like, do you want to touch it? I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm good. I was like, mm -mm. Like, I, I like me some animals, sea creatures, and just like that. But no, nah, I'm good. I don't want to hold it because I feel like if, if I hold it, I'm going to freak out. And I'm like, no. <laughs> But I can sit and touch it. I can touch a snake, anything. I can sit and touch anything. I just feel, if I hold it, I feel terrified. I don't know why. I think it's, I, I mean, mm, God, it could be so many different reasons why. But I'm not, like, terrified. I think if it was just, like, in my hands and if I held it for, like, a second, I'd be okay. But then at the same time, I'm freaking out. I'd be like, don't let this thing fall in it. <laughs> too much but yeah it was so cute but yeah miss cooking you have a very very interesting job that you're gonna have to do next week and i wonder is like what are these struggles that are she's gonna have to deal with essentially because we are very close to the end of this show by next week we'll be on episode 19 and then the week after we'll be on episode 20 and the fact that we are so close to the end of this and who knows what the fuck is going to happen next. Like, it's very interesting, but then at the same time, it's very sad because of the fact is we're getting so close to the end of this. And I really don't want this show to end because this show was so freaking good that, I mean, mm, I just don't want it to be over. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you to its episode 18 of the Aqua Top on White Sand. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 19. Bye, guys.